KX18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation. This is BBN Tonight, presented by UK Federal Credit Union. A celebration of Mike Pratt's life, a Kentucky Wildcat legend, and an even better human being. We mourned his passing in June, so today the color scheme is more blue and white, as Mike would have wanted. Welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Anna Tarullo. And I'm Keith Farmer. Tonight, just like uh, we said, we are celebrating the life of Mike Pratt after his passing in June. That's right. And a little later in the show, the UK football team is doing their part to help victims of the terrible flooding in eastern Kentucky. But we'll start with our friend Mike Pratt, forever a Wildcat. You could leave that Coliseum in the belly, leave the locker room, and wind through and you could, the crowd knew you were coming. And they could sense that the team was gonna hit the floor. And it was one of the biggest thrills that I can remember. Put a chill down your back when 10 and a half, 11,000, whatever it was, would get to their feet and cheer you as you hit the floor. And it's just one of the neat things that I can remember. The thrill of playing here at the University of Kentucky was terrific, it was special. Tonight we're also excited to introduce a man, and, that, and that's Mike Pratt. It, it is great to have you back here. You've, you've always been a part of the family, but it is super to have you a part of these broadcasts. And uh, they say that timing's everything. You came in in a pretty good year. Oh, my goodness. Off the Prince, will he go for five? 30 footer straight away, yes! How tough this crowd, wow. It's almost like when you're playing with this guy right now, don't touch him. He's so hot, he's going to burn you. Was that a thing of beauty? Wow. He is a flower that's beginning to bloom, Tom Leach. Pull up 10 footer. Got it! Young fella, are you having a ball game today? UK Athletics Hall of Famer, Mike Frank. I'm very happy with what happened. And very happy with the guys I played with. They're great friends to this day. Um, my time was, uh, I couldn't have picked a better school. Uh, in, in all of that. During the ceremony today, many of Mike's friends and family spoke about the impacts that he's had on their lives. And they told their stories about their time together. Dan Issel, Jimmy Dan Connor, Mike's brother Pat, his stepdaughter, Christina, and John Calipari all spoke to the crowd, and I had the chance to talk with some of them afterwards. What's really amazing is how many of our former teammates are here, guys that played here before us and played after us, but uh, Mike deserved that. Everybody loved Mike. He lived his life by the golden rule. He, uh, he treated everybody. I mean, I was with him a lot of times, guys, guys and gals he didn't even know, and he stood there and talked to him as long as they wanted to talk. He was that kind of guy. He uh, played basketball like he lived life. You know, he if, if you did something wrong, you paid a price for it. If you did it right, no matter how hard you hit him, he was fine with it. He taught me a lot of lessons. Mike personified thanking the university and, and he by his association to all make us feel happy to be back together and and it, it's a unique thing. Ex-players are like family, and so he, it, it's good to see a lot of them. He was a good friend. I mean, Tom and I were talking earlier. One of the last things that, uh, that that Mike did was a couple years ago. He was a big Reds fan, and I had a suite up there and happened to see Tom, and he was up there for Marty Brenneman's last call at Cincinnati. And uh, I said, hey, guys, come on in. Mike came in. We had a group of about 12 or 15 guys took pictures, signed autographs, and that was just Mike. It's just He was a friend to everybody. And, and I, I, told, I told Tom, I said, you know, that, that's, that's something I'll always remember, having uh, Mike, Mike in, our, in our suite that day. It was just special. Therapeutic's probably a good word. Uh, it's, it's just, I feel like I've cried enough. I need to, to laugh and smile. And so there was a lot more of that at this event. And that's what uh, Mike would want. He, uh, he loved life. And uh, I always tell people when I do speeches and things, I just use his stories because they're much better than mine. I think that Mike would want us to choose a charity and be active to do better with our money. With that in mind, I would like to announce that my mom has decided 
to take some of the funds that were raised and donate $22,000 to Kentucky Anna Friends of Beat in Mike's honor. She would love to start a research grant for colon cancer. What a wonderful, grace-filled thing to do in the midst of everything else to remember there's still out there people who are fighting and need help and you know this you can take this this devastating uh, experience and, and turn it into a way you can help people and she has it's unbelievable you know one of the last things he said to me and I'll try not to cry for remembering it he said um, I said Mike you know it's just we love you he said well you know I'm part of your family and I said you know you really are my kids looked at him that way I looked at him that way I mean I said you really are family and um, you know, in Italian people, you say you're part of family, that's saying something, and yeah. he really was. We loved him. I don't know that I've ever, I have had any friends uh, I held more dearly than Mike Pratt. It's funny because Bob Valvano there mim mimics my thoughts about Mike. Regardless of the basketball or the media, it just felt good when Mike was in the room. Just yeah. a familial presence. Yeah. Definitely going to miss him a, a lot. And like Jimmy Dan said, he would talk to anybody, mm -hmm. give them the time, and, mm -hmm. and didn't think a thing yep. of it. He just emanated warmth. I yes, don't know. This is the best way to put it, I think. Well, during the ceremony, Dan Issel actually had a call to action to help honor his late teammate. But I think what kind of falls through the cracks and Tommy alluded to it, was what a great basketball player Mike was. And you heard all of his, all of his stats. I remember one game our, our senior year, uh, Mike, we were playing the annual Notre Dame game on New Year's Eve up in Freedom Hall. And Mike literally put the team on his back, scored 42 points. And because of him, we were able to beat Notre Dame uh, that night. The reason I bring all this up is because, in my opinion, Mike Pratt's the best basketball player that ever played here that doesn't have his number hanging in the rafters at Rupp Arena. Yeah, big call to action there. Yeah. And he said, you know, Tom Leach said, when Mike left the university, mm -hmm. he was top 10 in points, rebounds, and yep. assists, and he's still sitting in 26th in points. Yeah, and just think about the impact he's had from his broadcast career. Mm -hmm. We all know and love Mike, so yes. I think it needs to be up there as well. All right, coming up next on BBN Tonight, I spent the day with UK football and Central Kentucky's favorite father. <laughs> the team helped Father Jim Sitchko load up his garage full of donations for Eastern Kentucky. That's when we come back.